Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Russ here from Poker's Corner. Welcome to the members area. Uh, what date are we on today? 11th, is it? Or 10th? Yeah, is it 11th? Uh, <coughs> uh, that's 22 videos you've had in 11 days. Not bad, is it? Oh, not bad at all. So we've got another 23 to go for the rest of the month. 23 in 19 days, so Mr. Consistency, I'm back, aren't I? Uh -huh. Well, I want, to, I want to talk about Barry Awad. You know that drug cheat from Sheffield? A little Arab kid who trains out at Ingle Gym. We all got convicted for performance enhancing drugs. Said it were his brother. Well, He's come out now, and he's he's gone all road man, and he's saying that he wants uh, it not to be left in judges' hands like Warrington fight, and he's talking like he's turned into some ice man. You know, he's had a win over Yaza Dickens, who we beat before years ago in his last fight, and you're only as good as your last fight, aren't you? We're talking. Yaza Dickens. Yeah, yeah. Well, he got the title shot because he's managed by Tony Bellew. You know, the, the man that's not beat a champion, Mr. Vacant Belt. Isn't that right, Tony? Well, Warrington's gone all road, man, and he? And Iceman, and he's going to, you know, he, you know, the digging trenches out, aren't they? the guerrilla trench warfare and you know, we're not leaving it to judges and all that, World War Three and all that, and I will die in this ring. Oh, my God, we've heard all this before, haven't we? Kid Gallard has stunk more arenas out in boxing than Joseph Parker. Do you understand? Stunk them out. Stunk. With a style that's not engaging. He's not there to be hit. He also doesn't want to hit you. It, you either, if he gets the jab on you, he'll get on his bike for three minutes at round or two minutes 58. The stink, he's the original stinkinator, but now all of a sudden he wants to be Mr. Iceman. So we're going to see, aren't we, if he knocks Kiko out, but it's not hard, is it? He's got more miles on clock than a 200,000 mile El Reg Mondeo blue with a red wing, two litre LX. On petrol, but now uh, it's just, it's, is this what happens when you get close to a fight? The wheel you're out and still not leaving it to judges like Warrington. You know, everybody's gone road, road man. Look, when you get into your 30s, trainers can't teach you much, and Gallard has been fighting the same style which he has mastered to a very high standard, by the way. Been fighting that same style since he turned pro. And, I can't get behind him because he's a convicted drug cheat. So I can't get behind him. I want to do. But there's other things in there that Gallard's upset me with. And I thought, you know what? He's not a nice guy. I'm not going to follow him. I don't want to follow nice guys, don't I? But I see him stopping Martinez. You know, about round nine, round ten. I see him stopping him. He's an old man. He shouldn't be even in... In the same arena, never mind the same fucking ring. So that's my opinion on that fight. Uh, what we got here, Gabe Brasado. Is he another Martinez? Why do they keep digging up these same people, these promoters? Gabe Brasado, 35 year old. Shot to bits. If it was if it was a horse, it'd have been put down. Shot to bits. Uh, that's just my opinion of Gabe Bazzardo. Uh, 
shouldn't, he shouldn't be fighting. I don't want to see him fighting. Uh, Danny Jacobs had an off night when he fought him, but I thought Jacobs won comfortably, but people were getting carried away by Gabe Rosado saying he's, he's got something left in tank. Only thing he's got left in tank are the dregs at the bottom of the tank. And that's the only thing he's got left in his tank. He's got nothing else left. Let him retire gracefully. That's just how it goes, isn't it? But the main one I want to talk about, the main fight I want to talk about that's not even made yet, but people keep saying, it, okay, it's done, it's done. It's not done until it's on box track. People keep going on about this fight to me. And I think it's a banana skin if you text it. Chris Eubank against Liam Williams. I've got Liam Williams to beat Eubank comfortably. Very, very comfortably. So we're going to see, aren't we, if it happens. But uh, if Eubank knocks Williams out, though, I'll beat him. I won't be surprised, though. But I'm going to pick Liam Williams to win on points. We might get jobbed. So there's all sorts of permutations. But I like Liam Williams. I'd like him to win. Uh, I think Eubank's a complete tosser, like his old man. It's just gimmick stuff in it. They're making money out of who the dads are. I mean, have any of them won a legit world title that's not an interim or an IBO or a regular? I don't think any of these kids have whose dads are famous, have they? I'd go mad at Carl Frotz if he put Rocco in the ring. He wouldn't do it, Carl. I know he wouldn't. He wouldn't do it. Whatever happened to... I thought so many kids didn't. So many kids don't have to. I don't know. But uh, I've met Eubank a favourite, but I, I think Liam Williams beats him comfortably. He's got way too much in his locker. And isn't this crazy how Eubank's 33 next birthday? And if he does fight Liam Williams, this will be his biggest test, apart from the Billy Joe fight and the Rose fight. This will be his third test. So, can Eubank fight anybody else? I don't know, but he's had five fights in four years since George Grove. Five fights in four years. So, he's not exactly Mr. Current Affairs, is he? So, all right. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. And... Uh, for all those that have been buying uh, Porky merchandise off at YouTube, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. It's Cameron's little thing he's got going there. Uh, some good, good merch in that, but time consuming, isn't it? But if you're interested, get in touch, porkycorner at mail.com and Cameron will sort it out for you. I'm messing about all that merch, so isn't it? Okie dokie. So I think it's time for me to uh, have a bed bath now and then settle down for the evening. All right. Have a great evening, all you boxing fans out there. And that goes for you, Spencer Fear. And I'll come to you at some point this month. I've got some a bit special lined up for you. All right. We always line some up special when we're dealing with uh, fraudsters and liars like you, vagabonds, charlatans. Not right, Spencer. All right. Peace out. Big shout out, Peter Defreitas. Hope you're well, my friend. I'll bring you tomorrow. Peace out.